No class anymore? Yeah. Ah, until when? Until when is the COVID is... Until the COVID is over? Yeah. Oh, so that's why. So you don't need to class until February. When the, co when the COVID is away? Yeah. The mouse will play? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so your mom told me that you have to do the class every nine in the morning, okay, and one in the night. Okay. You don't have practice for the football now? No practice? Yeah, because it's COVID. COVID. Then it's what done. It? Have... Nikalex, you got COVID. Okay. Okay, so I will share the screen now. So I guess we are not uh, finished with, uh, what's that, reading? Okay, I will check. Uh, pet 7 test 2 reading. Six PM die Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Okay, Kyo. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, you do exercise first. Stretch your body. Okay, very good. Okay. Oh, wow. That's great. Oh, I like your t-shirt now. Okay, that's enough. I exercise every day. Oh, every day? Really? Every day? No. I say that I exercise already. You exercise already. Okay, here. So, with here, okay, I will check if we are done with this. Oh, yeah. We're done with this, right? We are then, I try to skip this one. This is quite hard. So mostly here, I also had a student for pet. She is, uh, how old is she? Uh, she's 13. She's 13, a girl. Then she find it hard also to answer this type. It's in letter, what's that? Let uh, 6 to 10, part 2. Part 2 in pet, she feel and she told me that it's quite hard to share. I cannot do it. And then we had to uh, spend uh, a lot, uh, about 10 minutes for this only because it's quite hard. So we have here, okay, for 11 to 20, you're done with this, right? Okay, but before that, give me your scores. Your total scores, please. You've got already what? It is two thousand two hundred fifty two. Okay, two thousand two hundred fifty two. Okay, wow, it's so many. Okay, here. So for twenty one to twenty five, you will have here. Rick Mayer talks about his experience as an actor. Okay, you will have to choose only the letter of your choice. So we have here Rick Mayo, okay, Keo, as what teacher and told you, always do not make it fast. In the IEL test for you, so it will be have, or you need time to think. Remember that one. So in IEL, mostly it's in reading comprehension. So you have to understand. You have to read properly and understand because your mom told me that you will have to do the IEL test maybe next year okay so we need to focus in this read and after that one in the IELTS, teacher will not read you like that teacher will not let you understand 
you have to read and understand it all by yourself. Okay? Do you understand, Teacher Anne? Yeah. Okay, very good. I know you're a very smart boy. Okay, so all you have to do, just read and understand and do not make it fast. I know your comprehension is very good. Okay? So we have here, Rick Mayall talks about his experience as an actor. Can you see this one? So teacher Anne will only read this one and it's up to you to understand this. I don't need to explain. Okay, Keo? Okay. Okay, so I've enjoyed all the parts I've played, especially the people who aren't very nice who aren't very nice such as Alan the politician I played in the TV comedy series The New Statesman some people loved him but there were others who were against the program because they thought it was wrong to make a jokes about politics in the television I haven't seen that series for years I don't think they could repeat it because many of the jo jokes were from that, from that time Comedy does dates sometimes, though the basic idea behind the series, like a self-important person, can be true of any time. I do a lot of film work, and I still enjoy playing funny characters on the TV. But I prefer theater. I need a live audience to keep me going. I choose the favorite part. It would be Henry, uh, a family affair. A play... A play we performed up and down the country several years ago. It's a comedy directed by Andy Delatour, a good friend of mine. It's about a family who meet, a celebrate a birthday, and all kinds of the things that happen. Things that could happen to anyone, anywhere. That's why it's so funny. I really like playing the part of Henry because in some ways his character is similar to mine. Henry's a bit of lunar and behaves very badly at times. I was delighted when the authors of the play saw it congratulated me, saying I was exactly as they have imagined Henry. Although the play is a comedy, it contains serious messages such as how thoughtless people can be. It's a very true to life and that's why I like it. So this selection here talks about Greek Maya the great actor, okay? So what you're going to do now, you read it again, try to understand, and after that, read the question and answer. So as you can see, A, B, C, D, you can see this already, that the choices is quite near from each other. So you have to think, do not make it fast, okay? Because our goal for now is you have, or you need to pass the IELTS, okay? Here. Okay. Okay, you can do it, Kuya Kiyo. Bye bye. Okay, good luck. Answer now. May I say about statement?
happy then, Kayo? Yeah. yeah. Are you sure with your answers? So number 21. What is Rick Mayo's main purpose in writing the text? A. To suggest reasons for the success of for his career, of his career, sorry. B. To explain how he became a comedy actor. C. To talk about his favorite acting roles. And letter D. To describe his future work on the television. Your answer is letter C. Okay. Okay, Kyo, are you sure with that? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Dang. Wow, very good. To talk mm. about his favorite acting roles. Oh, yeah. Very good, Gayo. Okay, number 22. What does Rick Mayo say about the new statesman? Okay. It won't be repeated because some people were upset. Not everyone approved of it. Letter C. It was based on an unpleasant person here. He met letter D. He enjoys watching it again from time to time. Okay, your answer is letter A. Da -da 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 oh, it's letter B is the answer. Oh, it's okay. What kind of work does Rick Mayal prefer? Performing in front of the audience, acting with his close friends, Doing comedy series for televisions or making films about the real people? Okay, I choose I. Oh, you choose I. Da -da -da -da. Very good again. <laughs> oh, yes, your answer is correct again. Wow, very smart. Okay, so next one. Okay, you've got two correct answers here. Okay, just don't oh, put the plus. point yet. Okay, not yet, later. Okay. This is until 24. Okay, you've got two points for this. Okay, for 24 and 25, kindly answer. Okay. Please read it properly. Read, give you, and understand. Okay, let's see for number 24. You're very fast. Why was Rick Mayall is pleased about acting in a family affair? He could insist on which character to play. The writers of the play admired his performance. Letter C, it allowed him to do some serious acting. Letter D, uh, he played a character who was very different to himself. Do you think your answer is letter? Let's see. Ta -da -da. Oh, this is what I told you. <laughs> it's it's letter D, teacher. Yay. 25. Which of the following is the best description of Rick Mayall? Okay. He is a comedy actor who dislikes playing roles that are based on a real life. Letter B, he's a well-known actor who has given up playing funny characters on TV in order to concentrate on a serious theater. Letter C, he's a famous actor who played a family affair because he said it reminded him of his own family situation. And letter D, he is a successful actor who says that he enjoys playing characters who are unpleasant. Okay, wow, very good. Wow, four points. You write it there. Very good, Gayo. Okay, next one here. Okay, for 26 to 30, you will have to read the text below and choose the correct word for each space. 
you will write A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet, or you can have it in circle. Okay, now this is a grammar. So all you have to do, you have to fill in there the correct answer for the words here. Okay, don't make it too fast. We are only until 30, yeah, 35. Okay, so think, I will erase first. Oh yeah, thank you, Keo. Okay, go Keo. Why I can't erase? Oh, you erase, right? Thank you. Tonight, we will have a class at 7. What do you want? Morning or night? Night. Okay, but you have to do the class in morning also. Until that, I guess. Because you don't have to do anything in the morning. That's why your mom told me to, to have a lesson with you. Okay, do not make it fast, Keo. Read it. To read it properly, Keo. Please read it properly. I can live, I can fly. And touch the rainbow in the sky. So Kia, what is your favorite song? Do you have favorite song? Kia, you like to sing a song? Hindi ni ganan chirukuan. I think. My favorite song is What's your favorite song? Lemon tree? You know what is lemon tree? Yes. You like I lemon do. you like lemon tree also? Yeah. Oh, I wonder how, I wonder why. You know that song? So that you told me about a blue, blue sky. Oh, oh, you know that song? Why? Yeah, is I it, know that is song. It, is it famous in Vietnam? Yeah. Okay, so that's it. So I wonder how, I wonder why. Da, 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 da. Teacher, blue don't blue It's a blue, blue sky. Da, 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 da. Just it's, a yellow lemon tree. Oh, that's a lemon tree. Oh, wow. Okay, let and Is that the theme song of your dad and mom? Nope. 
No. Okay, 26. We have here. Let us check your answer. Are you sure with this, Kayo? I'm uh, really sure. Oh, you are really sure. Wow. 26. The answer is... Da -da -da -da. Wow, very good. Correct. 27. Oh, yes. 28. Oh, yes. Very good. 29. Oh, wow. Four points now. 30. It's, oh, it's letter B. 31. Yes. Five points. 32. Very good, Gayu. 33. Many. Many. It's more, not many. Look at number 33. Nowadays, there are many. Uh, there are more courses and materials available than ever before. So it's not many, it's more. 34. Okay, 35. Okay, you've got seven points. Go, add seven points, please. Okay. Okay, so now let's move. So I am just only uh, finishing this. I need to do listening test. We are okay. already in pet three, pet seven, sorry, test three listening. Eyo, I will just check this one. At reading and pet three, test three, uh, pet seven, test three listening. So after this key, if we are done with pet, I guess we will have to move with grammar. You like to do oh. the grammar? You like to do grammar? I don't like to do grammar. Oh, you like grammar? Wow. No. You don't like? Yeah. Okay, but it's most teacher and will be the one to talk, to talk, to talk, and all you have to do is just to listen. Okay. We have here vocabulary words. Can you see that one? Yeah. Uh, it's orchestra. Okay, brilliant. Okay. You know the word brilliant? Yeah. Oh, I wow. knew the word brilliant. Oh, you knew the word architecture. Okay. Wheelchair user. Oh, look at that one. She's a wheelchair user. Yeah. Okay, so, so you understand all of this word, Keo? No need to explain. You understand? Yeah, I understand. Yeah, very good. Okay. So for questions one to seven, there are seven questions in this part. And for each question, there are three pictures and a short recording. You know already what you're going to do with this? So we have here, I don't need to have the... The example. So ready? Please listen carefully and as much as possible, Kyo, please make it perfect, okay? Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. One. Which present will the girl receive? What would you like for your birthday, Maria? Would you like a new carpet for your bedroom floor? Your room's quite dark. It would really make it brighter in there. Hmm. Well, I did see a wonderful collection of short stories in a shop yesterday. I'd really like that. And don't forget, I'm going on holiday soon. A really nice leather suitcase would be great. Oh, dear. I was sure you'd really love my idea, so I'm afraid I've already got it. Oh, Mum. Now listen again. What would you like for your birthday, Maria? Would you like a new carpet for your bedroom floor? Your room's quite dark. It would really make it brighter in there. Hmm. Well, I did see a wonderful collection of short stories in a shop yesterday. I'd really like that. And don't forget, I'm going on holiday soon. A really nice leather suitcase would be great. Oh dear, I was sure you'd really love my idea, so I'm afraid I've already got it. Oh, Mum. Two. 
Where will the tourists go last? I hope you're all enjoying this walking tour of Kingston. We visited the oldest building in the city, the castle. We still have the famous gardens to see and the trip on the riverboat, which we're going to do at the end of the day. But next, I suggest that we have a break for lunch here in the town park. There's a cafe just over there and plenty of seats as well. Now listen again. I hope you're all enjoying this walking tour of Kingston. We visited the oldest building in the city, the castle. We still have the famous gardens to see and the trip on the riverboat, which we're going to do at the end of the day. But next, I suggest that we have a break for lunch here in the town park. There's a cafe just over there and plenty of seats as well. Three. How much does the man pay for the postage? I'd like to send a parcel to Hong Kong, please. How much will it cost? I'll need to weigh it before I can tell you. OK, if you send this by air, which is more expensive than by sea, it'll be 18 euros and 50 cents. By sea, it'll be about half that, um, 7 euros 50 cents. I need to send it by air, so I'll pay the extra. But last time, I think I only paid 15 euros 50 cents for the same weight. Have prices increased? Yes, sorry. Now listen again. I'd like to send a parcel to Hong Kong, please. How much will it cost? I'll need to weigh it before I can tell you. OK, if you send this by air, which is more expensive than by sea, it'll be 18 euros and 50 cents. By sea, it'll be about half that, um, 7 euros 50 cents. I need to send it by air, so I'll pay the extra. But last time, I think I only paid 15 euros 50 cents for the same weight. Have prices increased? Yes, sorry. Four. Where in the theatre did the woman leave her gloves? Good morning. I lost a pair of black leather gloves at the theatre last night, but I'm not sure where. I know I kept them with me when I left my coat in the cloakroom. Ah, uh, we have found a pair this morning, under one of the seats. Oh, now I remember. I put them on my seat when I went to the coffee bar during the interval. Well, they probably fell on the floor when I came back. Well, you can collect them from the ticket office any time. Now listen again. Good morning. I lost a pair of black leather gloves at the theatre last night, but I'm not sure where. I know I kept them with me when I left my coat in the cloakroom. Ah, uh, we have found a pair this morning, under one of the seats. Oh! Now I remember. I put them on my seat when I went to the coffee bar during the interval. Well, they probably fell on the floor when I came back. Well, you can collect them from the ticket office any time. Five. Which dress does the woman like best? Oh, look! That dress with the spots is really nice. Shall I buy it? Hmm, it's a bit expensive, though it would look really good on you. But that white one is really nice. You always look great in white. <laughs> this one with the flowers would look good on you too. And look, it's half price. Hmm. I'm not very keen on that material. And I prefer the spotty one to the white one, don't you? Oh, well, it's better if you decide which one you want. Now listen again. Oh, look! That dress with the spots is really nice. Shall I buy it? Hmm, it's a bit expensive, though it would look really good on you. <sighs> but that white one is really nice. You always look great in white. <laughs> this one with the flowers would look good on you too. And look, it's half price. Hmm. I'm not very keen on that material. 
And I prefer the spotty one to the white one, don't you? Oh, well, it's better if you decide which one you want. Six. What is the television programme about? Hi, Daniela. It's Maria. There's a really good programme you might like to watch on TV tonight, at nine. That presenter you like, the woman who films elephants in Africa, she's doing a special programme. Is she going back to Africa? Well, this time she's visiting the South Pole to study some of the wildlife there. It looks like they had a difficult time making the programme. The weather was so bad they couldn't fly there. It took two weeks just to get there by ship. That'll be interesting. Thanks. Now listen again. Hi, Daniela. It's Maria. There's a really good programme you might like to watch on TV tonight, at nine. That presenter you like, the woman who films elephants in Africa, she's doing a special programme. Is she going back to Africa? Well, this time she's visiting the South Pole to study some of the wildlife there. It looks like they had a difficult time making the programme. The weather was so bad they couldn't fly there. It took two weeks just to get there by ship. That'll be interesting. Thanks. Seven. Which vehicle does Steve intend to buy? I saw Steve's wife driving his sports car the other day. Did you? He told me he was going to sell it because with three children he needs to get something more practical. You know, a four-door car with lots of space for luggage. Well, he's got a van which he uses for his business, but I suppose he can't really put the children in the back of that. I might think of buying that sports car, actually. Really? Now listen again. I saw Steve's wife driving his sports car the other day. Did you? He told me he was going to sell it because with three children he needs to get something more practical. You know, a four-door car with lots of space for luggage. Well, he's got a van which he uses for his business, but I suppose he can't really put the children in the back of that. I might think of buying that sports car, actually. Really? That is the end of part one. Okay, you're done? Okay, so where are the other? Okay, first, number one. Which present will the girl receive? What is that? Okay, it's letter C. For this one, where will the tourist go last? Okay, oh, what happened, Kayo? Four. You didn't hear it. You didn't hear it clearly. Which I hear. Oh, that's correct. Six. Okay. Seven. Okay. What happened? What happened to the screen? You a chance. You got three points for this. Oh, it's okay. Okay. Okay, go, Kyo. This one. Now turn to part two, questions eight to 13. You will hear part of a radio interview with a woman called Linda Brown, who is talking about working in a cake shop when she was a student. For each question, put a tick in the correct box. You now have 45 seconds to look at the questions for part two.
listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Now, Linda, let's talk about your first job. Well, I was an assistant in an expensive cake shop in the small town where I lived. It was my last year at school before I went to college. I wanted to earn extra money for myself because I come from a family of seven and my parents couldn't afford to give us much pocket money. Did you like your first boss? <laughs> he was always polite, never shouted at us, even when we dropped things. And that was good for a young girl like me who wasn't very confident. <laughs> he knew everything about the business. I had no proper training, but it was good experience working for someone with so much knowledge. He didn't pay us well, but I didn't expect to earn much in my first job. And what about the shop? Was it a nice place to work? As I say, it was an expensive shop and the cakes were beautiful. Then in the morning there was this wonderful smell of bread baking. The first week was difficult because I just wanted to eat the cakes, which wasn't allowed, <laughs> but then I lost interest in them. We had to keep everything clean and that was hard work. Did you do any of the baking yourself? There were two chefs who were specialists in making cakes for celebrations and creating new bread recipes. I loved watching them at work, but I wasn't allowed to touch the ones on display in the windows. We sold sandwiches at lunchtime, again, very luxurious ones, and the shop assistants had to make those. I learned to put in really generous fillings, much more than I used at home. <laughs> How did you get on with the other shop assistants? One of them was my best friend, which was great. But the full-time staff sometimes treated us like silly schoolgirls because we couldn't cook. But I was surprised because the full-time assistants couldn't add up in their head. I was good at it, but they used calculators if there was anything difficult to work out. Did you enjoy serving customers in the shop? The best part of the day was lunchtime, when we were busy. Time just flew. Then it was interesting when people came in to plan a party or a wedding. One of the chefs would come through to discuss the design of the cake. Some customers thought the prices were too high, but usually ended up buying the cakes anyway. Now listen again. Now, Linda, let's talk about your first job. Well, I was an assistant in an expensive cake shop in the small town where I lived. It was my last year at school before I went to college. I wanted to earn extra money for myself because I come from a family of seven and my parents couldn't afford to give us much pocket money. Did you like your first boss? <laughs> he was always polite, never shouted at us, even when we dropped things. And that was good for a young girl like me who wasn't very confident. <laughs> he knew everything about the business. I had no proper training, but it was good experience working for someone with so much knowledge. He didn't pay us well, but I didn't expect to earn much in my first job. And what about the shop? Was it a nice place to work? As I say, it was an expensive shop and the cakes were beautiful. Then in the morning there was this wonderful smell of bread baking. The first week was difficult because I just wanted to eat the cakes, which wasn't allowed, <laughs> but then I lost interest in them. We had to keep everything clean, and that was hard work. Did you do any of the baking yourself? There were two chefs who were specialists in making cakes for celebrations and creating new bread recipes. I loved watching them at work, but I wasn't allowed to touch the ones on display in the windows. We sold sandwiches at lunchtime, again, very luxurious ones, and the shop assistants had to make those. I learned to put in really generous fillings, much more than I used at home. <laughs> How did you get on with the other shop assistants? One of them was my best friend, which was great, but the full-time staff sometimes treated us like silly schoolgirls because we couldn't cook. But I was surprised because the full-time assistants couldn't add up in their head. I was good at it, but they used calculators if there was anything difficult to work out. Did you enjoy serving customers in the shop? The best part of the day was lunchtime, when we were busy. Time just flew. Then it was interesting when people came in to plan a party or a wedding. One of the chefs would come through to discuss the design of the cake. Some customers thought the prices were too high, but usually ended up buying the cakes anyway.
That is the end of part two. Oh, are you sure with your answer? Okay, now. Okay, first we have here number one. Okay, I will move it here. Linda work in a cake shop because what's the answer? Very good, correct. The parents didn't give her enough money. And Linda liked her first boss because he okay. was kind to her. Very good, was kind to her. What did Linda enjoy about working in the shop? The eating of the cakes, the smell of the baking, or the clean yeah. of workplace? Very good. I Again. Think Baking. The smell of the baking. Yeah, correct. In the shop, Linda helped with what? Making sandwich, not baking the bread. Twelve, Linda says the full-time shop's assistant hadn't got this, the same skills as her. And thirteen, what does Linda say about serving customer? Okay, hey, four points, Kayo. Okay. Please, okay. This is the last activity now. So you will have to hear an information, some recorded information about the museum. Mm -hmm. Then, okay, you will have to answer to fill in the missing information in the numbered space. Like this that. This is a museum? Yeah, oh, wait, wait, wait. You want to see? Yeah, this is a museum. Here for a while. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, wait. Oh, that's a museum. As you can see there, it looks like there is a living animal, but actually those are. Okay, can you we see are on the bone of a dinosaur. Yeah, it's a dinosaur. So many animals here. You can see. But the I can see the dinosaur. Okay, can you see this one? It's a zebra. Yeah. Okay, there are lots. The museum. I don't think yeah. they are. Oh, yeah, there are also here some zebras, ostrich, monkey, tiger, and the different kind of birds here. You can even see here. I don't know what is this. Looks a like bear. The hippo, a bear, and looks like the hippo here. Okay, and there's here the dog. I don't know what kind of dog is this. It's very no, that not a dog. It's, it's a um, deer. Oh my god. Yeah, and also this one. Oh, this one and this one what it looks like. It's, it's it looks beautiful. Oh, uh, it looks beautiful. Okay. So have you tried going to the museum, Kayo? No, I never go to the museum. Oh, even once? Not yet? No. Okay. So let's answer this. This is your last activity. Okay, and after that I will ask how what is your total score? Now turn to part three. Questions 14 to 19. You will hear some recorded information about a museum. For each question, fill in the missing information in the numbered space. You now have 20 seconds to look at part three. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Thank you for calling the Central Museum Information Line. Central Museum is open every day from the 2nd of January through to the 31st of December and is open daily from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. The museum itself is a wonderful example of local architecture, completed in the year 1889, and the gardens, still in their original 1921 design, surprise and delight visitors of all ages. The museum contains an important 19th century English furniture collection, as well as a permanent Japanese art exhibition, and admission is free to all visitors. 
admission includes a free pre-recorded audio guide and we are fully equipped to welcome wheelchair users. Our museum shop sells a variety of books, cards and gifts. You'll find all kinds of interesting ideas for both adults and children. The museum also has a cafe, offering a selection of hot and cold dishes throughout the day from 10 until 4.30. For visitors travelling by car, parking is available at the hotel next door. It's just metres away from the museum. There is also frequent local public transport with buses to and from the town centre. There are also buses from the railway station every 10 minutes throughout the day. For further information about the museum, its history and its collections, please call 01202 451 800. You can also call 451 858 for information about group visits or if you're interested in hiring a room at the museum. Teachers can look at our website on www.centralmuseum.uk where they'll find lots of ideas for project work. Thank you for calling the Central Museum Information Line. Now listen again. Thank you for calling the Central Museum Information Line. Central Museum is open every day from the 2nd of January through to the 31st of December and is open daily from 10am until 5pm. The museum itself is a wonderful example of local architecture, completed in the year 1889, and the gardens, still in their original 1921 design, surprise and delight visitors of all ages. The museum contains an important 19th century English furniture collection as well as a permanent Japanese art exhibition and admission is free to all visitors. Admission includes a free pre-recorded audio guide and... Why? OK now? I can't spell Japanese. Ah, uh, don't worry. Here. What is Japanese spell? Uh, sorry. I know your answer is correct. Okay. Okay. Continue. Okay, continue. We are fully equipped to welcome wheelchair users. Our museum shop sells a variety of books, cards and gifts. You'll find all kinds of interesting ideas for both adults and children. The museum also has a cafe, offering a selection of hot and cold dishes throughout the day from 10 until 4.30. For visitors travelling by car, Parking is available at the hotel next door. It's just metres away from the museum. There is also frequent local public transport with buses to and from the town centre. There are also buses from the railway station every 10 minutes throughout the day. For further information about the museum, its history and its collections, please call 01202 451-800. You can also call 451-858 for information about yes, group visits or That's if you're interested in Monday, hiring Wednesday, a room at the museum. Teachers can look Monday. at our website on www.centralmuseum.uk where Monday. they'll find lots of ideas for Thursday and Sat Thursday. Thank you for calling the Central Museum Information Line. That is the end of part three.
Okay, Kayo? Let's answer here. Number 14. Da -da 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 -ding. Okay, what is this? 1921. Next here, the Japanese. Very good, correct. Number 16. 17. Okay. And 18. Okay. Two. It's groups. Okay. So you got three points. Okay, Kyo, kindly check. How many points did you got? Did you get? Okay, take note here and wait for a while. Two, 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 two. Seven, two okay, very good. Two two seventy. Okay. So for now, Kayo, teacher will say goodbye and I'll be seeing you tonight at 7 p.m. Okay? Okay. Bye-bye, Kayo boy. Goodbye, teacher.